been your focus preparing for training camp uh, your first full season with you? Uh, getting in the best shape possible, uh, just being ready whenever my number is called. Uh, I mean, injuries happen and whatnot. I mean, Larry's still out right now. Uh, he's probably not going to get as many uh, training camp reps, but uh, I was just preparing for that moment, honestly, because uh, things happen. But just getting ready mentally to uh, go out here for this long, long season. Uh, how do you, how do you use Larry? Uh, sometimes small ball five, uh, four, three. I mean, depending on where I could guard on the floor. So. Do you feel like you're fully back at 100? percent And if so, when do you feel like you first felt that feeling over the summer? Uh, I do, I do. Only thing I felt like was holding me back was mentally and not thinking about uh everything. And I felt like I got to that point. Uh, game four or five in summer league, I had my best game to end it. I was just out there playing with confidence, playing free, and uh. Definitely feel like I'm back, back to uh, just hooping. So, is that something you've done a good bit before, uh, playing small ball five, and kind of the switch your style? They like to play when they kind of do small ball. Uh, most definitely. Uh, I don't know if everybody watched, but uh, my sophomore year, I played center the whole time in the Big Ten, like starting five, guard to five, hedge and screens. So that's something that I have been doing, and uh, understand that. I cause a mismatch on the other end. I mean, sometimes guys are taller than me, but just being able to space the floor, pick and pop is something that, uh, that'll help out the team a lot. What's your understanding just with development and your role going to Birmingham, perhaps to get minutes, you know, once Larry's back, there'll be a minutes crunch. Is that something you feel like you have to kind of adjust to and just be in the best condition, uh, be ready, honestly. Like I said, when my number's called, be ready to go out there and uh, provide great minutes. Um, I don't know if I'm going to play in the G League or not this year, depending on how the health of the team or just if they need me to play right now. But going in a training camp tomorrow, I'm just going in trying to uh, show everybody I belong here. Is that something you got to balance mentally, not knowing if you're going to be here getting minutes, just watching, learning? Is that something you're having to deal with? Nah, same. Same as like going, going back to college. It's like, Different points, like a freshman again. I mean, it's my rookie year, just uh, having fun playing basketball right now. Whatever that leads me, it leads me. So. In, in Vegas, it seemed like uh, you saw a lot of success when they got you going downhill, whether it was a transition or you know, off of the handoffs or whatever it may be. Um, is that a conversation you have with some of the coaching staff, maybe uh, Coach JV that they just brought in with regards to how to get you the most efficient looks that suit you? Uh, yeah, running the floor, honestly. Uh, I'm the first, first, because I could post up as well. Um, they want me to post up when I have a mismatch on me. Um, but just being able to use my strength and um, learning to play a new way. Uh, I mean, Coach JB has put in a whole bunch of new things. I would say, like, uh, term terminologies and whatnot, he probably put more in. But uh, just being able to cut, read the game, uh, learn how to play off others, and uh, – I played a little bit with B.I. and C.J. like this past week, so I'm kind of learning. So I'm just going to get better at it. It seemed, it seemed like throughout your college career, uh, whatever feedback you got over the course of the summer, you were able to implement like pretty readily. Even like you came into your, your, your final season of college, uh, a much improved shooter, more, more volume uh, from three, things like that. What has been the focus for you this summer outside of just getting back in playing shape and uh, getting back you know, 100% physically? What's been the focus for you, and have there been points of emphasis from the team uh, with regards to things to implement in your game? Yeah, uh, just playing with confidence, honestly. Um, I kind of kind of been watching a little bit too much of Draymond Green right now because I feel like I, I scored a ball a little better than him. But um, they just want me to play with confidence. I'm open, shoot the ball. If I'm down the floor, post up, go to work. Um, so just being able to balance um, trying to create for others and uh, – still playing with the confidence and the abilities I have in scoring the ball. So just focuses on shooting when I'm open, um, sprinting the floor, beating people to spots on the defense end. So. Oh, most definitely, most definitely. Compared to where I was at last year, uh, sitting on the sideline uh, on crutches, watching everybody practice uh, to now, I'm excited to go out there and compete, um, put on that jersey for the first time. I actually have my first practice. Uh, I'm excited 
it's, it's kind of surreal, honestly. Um, going to be on the court with all those guys competing. So. You heard a lot of stories about guys really getting after over the last month at the practice facility. Has anything stood out to you about anybody in particular? That said, um, a lot of the Exhibit 10 guys have been, been uh, out there hooping, honestly, like playing with like with a chip on their shoulder. And I, I, I respect that out of those guys. So that, that G League, that Birmingham squad is going to be really nice this year. That's something I could say is going to happen. So. We also uh, heard from Najee and a few guys during last year's training camp, uh, just being mentally and physically prepared on a daily basis, kind of dealing with Zion, just throwing body blows at you over and over again. Just how much are you kind of preparing for that now that you might be a guy that has to guard him some of these Watching other teams guard him last year, that was a – Look like a headache, but I mean, I, it only it only make me better. I feel like there's not many guys like that in the league besides like Giannis or something coming at you full speed like that. So uh, it only make me better. But I got to get ready for that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> with this downtime, is there something you learned about yourself and being a professional that maybe you didn't appreciate when you came into the league? Something maybe you, you wouldn't get to see without this downtime. So you turn that negative into a positive sort of thing. Uh, yeah. I mean, everything that I used to do um, just growing up just staying out the way uh, focusing on my craft is what these guys do as well um, and I feel like that's kind of helped me be a pro at a high level uh, get done hooping go play some video games stay out the way watch some basketball uh, get my rest at night so Which game you 2k just came out so I've been playing that FIFA came out yesterday I haven't got a chance to play it had to go to sleep so probably get that a little later Um, them trusting me, that, that was a big, big thing. Um, I just appreciate them and them uh, sticking with me throughout this whole, whole process. Cause I mean, when I got drafted, I didn't, I didn't think this was gonna happen. Um, I didn't think any of this, uh, how my journey was gonna go. But um, honestly, that's not up to me. Uh, God has His own plan for him, and I just have to follow it. And whatever happens, happens. So I'm just sticking to that, um, and I appreciate them for sticking with me. So. Uh, yeah, just showing, just showing I belong, improving that to myself. I know I belong, and just gonna show other people that I do as well. Thank you, sir. Cool. Appreciate you.